Hi guys, uh, this session we are going to learn how to render the textures that you're not able to see in the 3D window or anyways if you want to render the garment that you've created in Clothes 3D. So to begin with, I'm quickly going to add a fabric to the object browser. So object browser, under the fabric section, I'll click on this add tab to add a new fabric and I am going to select the type. So you might have wondered, there are certain types like fur, gem, glass, glitter, iridescence, and whatnot. All these, they say render only. And for the same reason, if I select, let's say glitter, you might not see, uh, okay, let me make the color for this. I'll take the eyedropper and I'll take this exact blue and okay. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it to the top because I want my top to be in glitter. So I don't really see any glitter kind of texture to my garment. It's because you'll be able to see it only when you render it. I've selected the straps and I'll click here, assign to selected patterns. So this has been assigned to the straps as well. Yeah, once you're done adding it, as for glitter, also remember, apart from changing the normal color, you're also going to change the glitter parameters. You can, you know, uh, add more number of glitters, plus change the color. I always choose to change the second color for the glitter to kind of a lighter tint of the whatever color I've selected. Okay, I drop and this is the color that I've selected. I'll choose a color a little lighter than this for the second glitter parameter. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So we go to render from the window. Remember when you're supposed to render, you're supposed to stop simulation. So make sure simulation has been stopped. You do this only after finalizing your drapes, finalizing the poses and the hairstyle or whatever you want. So let me also quickly change from the avatar library. I'd like to change the hair. I'll just zoom it in to whatever view you want to render. So say I want to render this view. Okay, so we go to render, finalize the pose, the drapes, everything. Simulate it after reducing the particle distance. And once everything till here has been done, we're going to stop simulation. From the menu bar, select render, go to render and click on this very first tool interactive render to start rendering so it will start rendering for you but there are also some properties you can change for your render that are i uh, say i want my image to have no background or i want it to be sized a bit more than this so okay let me stop it from here this is where you can change the image or video properties so i'm going to click here and from the property editor, I'll change the image size to say 1920 to 1080. I think this quality is going to be great. Now, for the background, I choose them to be transparent most of the time. So I'll just turn on transparency. Then start the interactive render again. So this is how you can also, you know, resize the image quality and you can remove the background while rendering so once the render has started you can now see the glitter texture in the render engine and you have to wait for say 10 to 15 minutes for this to be completed and you will see a significant difference in the 3d and the render the render it looks more realistic and better compared to what you have in the 3D. And you'll have to wait again, like 10 to 15 minutes. So you have a complete clean render with you. Oh. 
Okay, so it looks like the render has been completed. Now, how to save it? So you're going to switch to this icon that says save current image and you can save it to whatever location. I'll say I'll save it to my desktop for now. And similarly, you can uh, render different views. So mostly your client is going to ask you for the front and the back and the side view of it. You can also zoom into the details and take the renders of the areas and submit accordingly. All right, so for the textures that you're not able to see in the 3D window, you'll have to render them. And anyways, for final, final uh, view of it, or for saving it, or for sharing it with your clients, you are supposed to render your projects always. So yeah, this is it about today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.